This is the Boeing 777X, the airliner that's gonna shift the entire industry of wide-body jets with its introduced technology and record-breaking feats. It's also a chance for Boeing to gain back public trust and elevate out of a few very forgettable years. And I know all about the struggles because I worked there. But stick around because this will be the most informative and I hope entertaining video dissecting the 777X's features, capabilities, challenges faced, and the potential it holds for the future of air travel. Boeing has had a rough few years, and I think it's irresponsible to look past that. But coming from someone within the company, I can almost promise that positive changes are most definitely on the way. And the 777X is a great example of a fight back to gain not only public trust, but also respect for what's been the largest aerospace company in the world for the better part of the last century. The Boeing 777X, with its revolutionary design and state-of-the-art features, marks a paradigm shift in the realm of wide-body aircraft. Boasting a wingspan of 235 feet and 5 inches, the 777X introduces the world's largest ever twin-engine jet wings, a design element that's crucial for achieving enhanced aerodynamic efficiency. At the heart of this lies the GE-9X engines, the largest commercial aircraft engines ever built. These engines are absolutely massive, at approximately 13 and a half feet or over 4 meters in diameter, which is actually larger than most mid-sized cars. Because of this massive size, it packs an unmatched performance and holds the world record for the most thrust produced by a single engine at almost 135,000 pounds of thrust or about 600,000 newtons. And it does all of this while being the most fuel-efficient engine in its class. The incorporation of advanced materials, including composite wings and tail, further elevates the 777X's performance. And perhaps existing as the most notable feature on this aircraft, the wingtips possess a cut edge folding mechanism, allowing the aircraft to navigate airports with existing infrastructure constraints. This folding process reduces the total wingspan by about 23 feet or 7 meters. This may not seem like much, but when existing airport infrastructure is designed to fit an older generation of aircraft with a smaller wingspan, it's absolutely necessary. The raked wingtips, reminiscent of the 787 Dreamliner, which we'll talk more about in a minute, contribute to the aircraft's overall efficiency. Additionally, the larger windows, similar to those in the Dreamliner, not only allow more natural light into the cabin, but can also provide passengers with better quality panoramic-like views. The interior is a culmination of cutting-edge innovation and passenger-centric features. Partnering with Teague, Boeing has redefined the travel experience, seamlessly blending elements from the highly successful Dreamliner with the timeless excellence of the 777 family. The spaciousness of the 777X cabin is a standout feature, achieved through a wider fuselage despite using the same outer bounds as the current 777. The sculpted sidewalls play a pivotal role in this, providing an additional 4 inches in cross-section. This translates to an impressive 18-inch wide wide seat in a 10 abreast configuration. The overhead architecture underwent a significant transformation, featuring larger bins with double the capacity of existing 777 bins. The A-ceiling architecture, free of middle bins, creates a sense of verticality and height in premium cabins, while the B-ceiling architecture enhances the perception of breadth and width in higher density economy classes. Either way, all of the bins are concave instead of convex, meaning they'll make everything feel more open and will blend better with the ceiling, all while sacrificing sacrificing virtually no luggage space. The cabin introduces new lighting concepts with highly controllable and programmable LEDs. Aesthetically, this is arguably the best looking interior in any commercial plane out there. The lighting is able to mimic the sunset and sunrise or even the northern lights. Beyond aesthetics, these lights serve functional purposes, signaling changes like mealtime or landing to passengers. The effective cabin altitude of the 777X is 6,000 feet, which will help drastically reduce jet lag and other physical effects of long flights. Additionally, the cabin will be quieter than previous models and will be considerably less bumpy due to enhanced external suppression. And a quick shout out to Kobe Explorers for this extremely informative video on the interior of the plane. The Boeing 777X family encompasses two main variants, the 7788 and the 7779, each tailored to meet the diverse needs of airlines across the globe. The 7788 is designed to carry approximately 384 passengers in a two-class configuration, with a range of about 8,500 nautical miles or almost 16,000 kilometers. With a slightly smaller capacity than its counterpart, the 777 is optimized for long-haul routes, providing airlines with the flexibility to serve distant destinations efficiently. 
The larger 777-9 is built to accommodate around 426 passengers in a two-class layout, offering an impressive range of 7,285 nautical miles or around 13,500 kilometers. Positioned as a successor to the Boeing 747, the 777 caters to the demand for increased capacity at slot-restricted airports, making it an ideal choice for major international hubs. If we look at the 777X as compared to the 787 Dreamliner in the iconic 747, we can see the distinct design philosophies and capabilities tailored to diverse market demands. While both the 777X and 787 Dreamliners belong to Boeing's advanced aircraft portfolio, they serve different market segments with unique features. The 787 Dreamliner focuses on long-range efficiency in composite materials, contributing to fuel savings and enhanced passenger comfort. While that does sound similar to the 777X, the latter emphasizes capacity and range, targeting airlines operating high-demand, slot-constrained routes. As Boeing bids farewell to the iconic 747 program, as mentioned earlier, the 777X aims to fill the shoes of the Queen of the Skies. The 777-9 aligns relatively closely with the 747's capacity, providing a modern twin-engine alternative for airlines looking to replace their aging quad jet fleets. Modern technology, fuel efficiency, and operational flexibility make the 777-X a compelling success catering to the evolving demands of the aviation industry. However, it's probably important to note that nothing in the new lineup will come close to the massive 747-400 configuration's one-class layout, which could hold up to 660 passengers. The rivalry between Boeing's 777X and Airbus's A350 reflects the competition for dominance in the long-haul wide-body aircraft market. Both manufacturers vie for airline contracts, and the choice between the 777X and the A350 often comes down to specific operational requirements and airline preferences. The two planes are direct competitors, sharing similarities in capacity, range, and fuel efficiency. The 777 outcompetes the A350-1000 in terms of passenger capacity, with approximately 50 more seats in the two-class configuration. In this same class, however, the A350 wins with a range of about 1,500 nautical miles more. However, when you throw the 777 and the A350-900 in the mix, there are different benefits to each configuration between the competing companies. The battle for market share intensifies as airlines weigh the advantages of each aircraft. Boeing's established presence in the wide-body segment, especially with its successful 777 family, gives the 777X a slight competitive edge. Customer preferences, regional considerations, and existing fleet commonality play crucial roles in the decision-making process. Airlines often choose the manufacturer that aligns more with their operational strategies. The list price for the 777-9 is 440 2 million, while the 7778 will be 410 million. On the contrary, the A350-1000 is listed at about 366 million, and the A350-900 is listed at about 317 million. Obviously, these Airbus models are considerably cheaper, but discounts are standard practice, and airlines will likely pay a lot more for that extra capacity that the 777X offers. The development and certification process of the 777X have not been without hurdles. Boeing faced and is still facing several challenges that contributed to delays in the aircraft's entry into service. The aviation industry obviously operates under stringent regulatory standards, and the Boeing 777X faced increased scrutiny from aviation authorities during its certification process. The FAA has closely examined various aspects of the aircraft's design and systems, contributing to a more prolonged certification timeline. The 777X encountered technical issues, particularly particularly related to its innovative features, such as the folding wingtips. Because they are a new component, they require additional attention to meet safety and operational standards. Also, the GE-9X engines, the largest ever installed on a passenger aircraft, had to undergo rigorous testing. Engine-related issues and the need for modifications contributed to delays in the overall development timeline. What was initially slated for entry into service in 2020, the 777X faced a series of delays that pushed its commercial debut to 2025. These delays impacted Boeing's delivery schedule and compelled airlines to adjust their fleet plans. With this many new ideas and uses of technology on an aircraft, it's very easy to believe why this would take so long to get certified.
As Boeing overcomes the challenges in the development of the 777X, the aircraft holds significant promise for the future of long-haul air travel. Boeing positions the 777X as the largest and most efficient twin-engine jet globally, promising airlines a remarkable 12% lower fuel consumption and 10% lower operating costs as compared to competing aircraft. Airlines such as British Airways have expressed confidence in the 777X's capabilities as a worthy replacement for aging quad jet models, anticipating cost efficiencies and environmental benefits. Boeing anticipates strong market demand for the 777X, expecting it to replace not only remaining passenger 747s, but also the classic generation 777 aircraft. With the impressive range and adaptability, the 777X is expected to cater to diverse markets, serving slot-restricted airports like London Heathrow or New York JFK Airport, where its capacity can address operational constraints. With all this being said, the 777X can serve as Boeing's golden ticket, buying back public trust and interest. As long as the company puts a strong enough emphasis on manufacturing quality and comes through on its promises for this heavily anticipated airliner, this can be the next iconic Boeing airplane. And selfishly, of course, I want this plane to succeed given the promise it holds for Boeing's future within commercial aircraft. If you enjoyed this video and or found it informative or entertaining, then please consider liking and subscribing. While this is the only aviation related video I've ever made, my channel is centered around technology and engineering, covering various projects around the world in the same mini documentary documentary style. Either way, that's going to do it for the video, and I'll see you next time.